Well, you know, I heard before I came down here today that, you know, uh, you know, certain organizations that are against Black Lives Matter are going to be down here, you know, possibly as like a little scare tactic. Um, we're not afraid. We, we refuse to be afraid. We're going to come down. We're going to march and we're going to we're going to make sure our voices are heard. Brian, we're at Waterfront Park where this demonstration continues. It's going into its third hour right now. You can see people have brought numbers, they've brought their homemade signs, and they have brought peace. This demonstration, as I say, started well around four o'clock. They marched onto the courthouse, then from the courthouse here to the park. The courthouse, of course, the site of a large Black Lives Matter street mural. You may have seen that viral video from July 4th. A white couple painted over that mural with black paint. The artist had a permit to make the mural. The district attorney has since charged the couple with three misdemeanors each, including a hate crime charge. Kenya Allen, who has lived in Martinez for 12 years, says she organized this demonstration because she wanted her community to show where they stand on the issue. This is not happening in my town. She was going on about her town. This is our town, and there are, you know, minorities in it. And the town needs to start taking some sort of stands one way or the other to make it very clear about where its values lie. So the demonstrators did march for a time through the streets, so they moved pretty quickly and have been in this park for the bulk of the afternoon right here uh, in downtown Martinez. As I mentioned earlier, the police chief had said there may have been some trouble. There may have been folks who were inclined to bring weapons to counter demonstrate. We have not seen any of those counter demonstrators today as this demonstration, a peaceful one, continues.